Today's morning devotional. Through Christ to God. God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 19. All through the pages of sacred history, where the dealings of God with his chosen people are recorded, there are burning traces of the great I Am. In all these revelations of the Divine Presence, the glory of God was manifested through Christ. Not alone at the Savior's advent, but through all the ages after the fall and the promise of redemption, God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. Christ was the foundation and center of the sacrificial system in both the patriarchal and the Jewish age. Since the sin of our first parents, there has been no direct communication between God and man. The Father has given the world into the hands of Christ, that through his mediatorial work he may redeem man, and vindicate the authority and holiness of the law of God. All the communion between heaven and the fallen race has been through Christ. It was the Son of God that gave to our first parents the promise of redemption. It was he who revealed himself to the patriarchs. Adam, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Moses understood the gospel. They looked for salvation through man's substitute and surety. The solemn service of the sanctuary typified the grand truths that were to be revealed through successive generations. The cloud of incense ascending with the prayers of Israel represents his righteousness that alone can make the sinner's prayer acceptable to God. The bleeding victim on the altar of sacrifice testified of a Redeemer to come, and from the Holy of Holies the visible token of the Divine Presence shone forth. Thus through age after age of darkness and apostasy, faith was kept alive in the hearts of men until the time came for the advent of the promised Messiah. Jesus was the light of his people the light of the world before he came to earth in the form of humanity. From him has come every ray of heaven's brightness that has fallen upon the inhabitants of the earth. In the plan of redemption, Christ is the Alpha and the Omega the first and the last.